Albany Hall here at CNET with CES 2016. And check it out, I'm with the Volkswagen Bud E. That's right, don't you just want to give it a hug? It's just so cute. Now Volkswagen wanted to kind of bring back the nostalgia of the old uh, micro buses at the time. Of course, we can't have a flat front nose because you know there's something called crash standards these days. So we do have a little bit of a, a protrusion here in the nose area. It gives it a little bit more of a Scion XB look than it does a micro bus, but still it's always great to see Volkswagen kind of hearkening back to its heritage. Now, one of the great things about this car is that it is all wheel drive. That's right, there's two electric motors that are powering both the front and the rear axles. It's gonna get 233 miles on a single charge and it has a top speed of up to 93 miles an hour. All wheel drive, 93 miles an hour, sign me up. All right, now there's a lot of really cool gesture controls here. So let me see if I can uh, open up this side door. So uh, I'm just gonna put my hand right here and then do that. Oh my God, look at that, it opened up. That's so cool. You can even open up this door. Oh, come on. What, look at that. So in front of me, I've got three screens. All right, I've got uh, a screen over here that's telling me everything, like the status of my car. So I know I've got these doors are open. Um, apparently I've gone 0.4 miles and I'm traveling at 30 miles an hour, but check out this really cool, um, uh, three-dimensional navigation here. I've also got all of my climate controls here and you can see I didn't even touch it and things are coming up, things are posting up. So let's see here. Menu. Battery charge off, three charging devices. Hmm, let's see, let's see, menu. And so I've got all of my, um, all of my audio, all of my cool things here. Now, if you take a look at this steering wheel, what's great about it is that it is a multifunctional steering wheel, but it's kind of like multifunctional 3.0 because there's no actual buttons. Everything here is done with haptic feedback. So I can just slide my finger over the button and I get a little buzz to let me know that I'm in the right spot. So that of course is pretty cool. Okay, let's go around the back. Come on, you guys. I do like that we've got these tail lights here that integrate right up into the D pillar. That's a really nice look. And one of the other things that they've got that's in that kind of helps bring back the micro bus is that we've got really short front and rear overhangs. So again, we can't make it look exactly like my beloved air cooled bus, but it's still looking pretty good. Now there's a lot of great gesture controls in this, and one of them is I can open up this back with my uh, with my foot. So let me see. I get the little just the little uh, spotlight there. Put my foot on it. Bring it back. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So I've got plenty of room for all of my friends in here. I've got a nice, easy step up. And then one of the things that's really great is if I'm gonna be on a road trip with my friends, and we've all got our own separate like uh, points of interest, music, things like that that we all want on our phones, we can all come in here and the buddy recognizes those things and displays them up here on this large screen in the back seat. So that is going to help everyone have their own great personal road trip. I'm pretty excited about this concept here. I mean, it's been teased for a really long time. I know there's a lot more to learn about it. So we really hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick look at the Volkswagen Bud E here at CES in 2016. Stay tuned because we've got a lot more great coverage coming up right here.